Hey, this is Kerry with Speed Caps. I was just out here filling an order and I thought I'd try to do a quick video. I've had some people in the industry kind of hounding me a little bit, uh, wanted me to do a video and demonstrate on exactly how to use this tool. And I thought I'd do that today. I'll show you how to take it off, uh, put it back on, and actually a trick that we've learned uh, that this wrench actually will do. And also a little bit of background uh, on the cap. And that's what we'll go over here first. Um, these caps hold such a small amount of oil. I needed to change the oil in my axles on my trailers as, uh, as often as possible. And what we were finding was this would seat itself on there, it would actually seize uh, onto the axle and we're having trouble getting these off. I've even heard of people breaking these off with hammers because they can't get it loose. Um, but what we were using was ratchet, extension, adapter, and a socket. And uh, anybody who knows Anything about tools, I'm sure a lot of you guys do. <laughs> the bigger the tool, the more expensive, and the more expensive, the quicker they grow legs and walk off. Well, I had a friend of mine in the steel business cut up a couple of these wrenches for me, and uh, they worked so well that uh, I had people asking me for them, and that's kind of how speed caps got started. But um, it show you how simple it is to use is you just hold one end with one hand, bear with me here, I'm doing this with a camera phone, so I'm one-handed, um, and you hit the other end with a hammer. Sometimes you can tap them, sometimes you gotta hit them pretty good to break that seal loose, but once it breaks loose, you can spin it off, and that's just that easy getting that cap off. Um, now here's the issue that some people have been having. When they go to put it back on, because that thing was seized on there, they think that that was actually torqued on, and I made that same mistake too. When I uh, first got into uh, uh, any repairs with trailers, I was thinking, man, that thing is torqued on there really tight, but it wasn't, it was just seized on. And what we're finding is people are breaking these threads um, when they go to torque this thing back on, because they'll put it back on, and they'll really try to torque these things on tight, put both hands on each side and they'll crank them on and they'll do damage to that cap. And once these threads actually let go, they'll crack and you'll get leaks and your cap will not work properly. Um, uh, what you need to do is just spin this thing back on hand tight, drop the wrench right over the top of it, crank it back on with one hand only, just like you do a oil filter when you do an oil change on any of your vehicles. It's just that easy. One hand, tighten it up, you're good to go. I think the manufacturer is somewhere around 20, 30 foot pounds, but you don't need to put a torque wrench on these things. I've been doing this for 10 years. Uh, haven't damaged one of these yet, and I don't have any uh, issues with leaking. Um, if you ever do, just go back, drop your wrench back on there, give it a little more, uh, a little more, uh, a little more tension on there a little more torque, tighten it up, and you shouldn't have any issues with it leaking. Now, here's one thing that I was gonna show you guys, a little trick that a lot of people don't know. You've gotta fill that thing back up. You've gotta pull these little fill plugs back out. Well, people are damaging these fill plugs often because you wanna put a screwdriver, something sharp back behind here and, pr and pry that off. And what that's, and what that's doing is it's putting a lot of stress on the edge of that fill plug and they're getting rips and tears and damaging that plug. What I found was, and we even put a little uh, indention on this tool to help you with it, and uh, I'll show you how that works, is you put some pressure against the cap with one hand at the top, and with the other hand, you'll actually pull down. Sliding it back and forth, it'll work its way underneath the lip. This little indention that we put in the tool here actually helps you with that. And once it slides underneath that lip, you just pull down with this hand, it will compress this plug, it'll pop right out of there. No damage to this fill plug. Uh, it's actually a pretty neat little trick and I think you guys will like it. But uh, it's just that simple. Uh, that's how the wrench is used. Um, I hope this video helped you out. And uh, if you're not on my site already, speedcaps.com, uh, go on, take a look. It's, uh, uh, it's got a new product coming out on there. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and um, Buy some wrenches. Thanks.